Hey guys, Kitty here. So for today's video I'm going to be talking about a old school farm that a lot of people might not be aware of that is 100% still viable today and is still pretty decent if you're looking for a non-RNG based farm like transmog battle pets or 2 times 4 and 4 times 4 farming. I would say this farm is as close as a raw gold farm as it gets. Um, that's like still really good and it's not like that shitty. Um, so I'm in Bastion of Twilight. Of course, Bastion of Twilight is located in Twilight Highlands, all the way up here in the air. This farm is pretty much Bastion of Twilight trash farming. Now there's a few prerequisites you need to have. The first off, you should probably do this on a tailor, um, and that is because you get cloth scavenging, which gives you additional cloth from humanoids. And you want to make sure you bring a potion of treasure finding. Now if you're an alchemist, you can go ahead and make one of these. Um, four Storm Vine, eight Cinder Bloom, eight Heart Blossom, four Whiptail. Or you can just go ahead and buy them on your server depending on the price. Now you might think <clears throat> if you can't make one, six to eight hundred gold is usually what they go for. It's a little bit expensive. You definitely want to bring it 100%. What Potion of Treasure Finding does, if you're not aware, it gives you tiny treasure chest from the mobs you kill in Cataclysm Zones. Since this is a Cataclysm uh, raid, you'll be receiving tiny treasure chest. And what tiny treasure chest does is it gives you cataclysm materials. So as you can see, it gives you pyrite and elementium. It gives you ball tiles, and it gives you raw gold, a chance at greens, and a chance at ember silk cloth. Um, and all of that adds up automatically. Um, for example, potion costs six to 800 gold, and I calculated this earlier. Everything I received from the potions, not including the greens, the raw gold, and the ember silk, because I didn't really keep track of that, I only kept track of the volatiles and the ore, was about 6,600. So obviously it's definitely worth bringing that. Um, and now getting to the farm. <clears throat> so what you want to do is uh, just run in, make sure it's set to 25 man. You want to kill, pull, and pretty much just kill this first room. I'm a, I'm a holy priest right now, so I'm pulling with Dispel Magic, it's really good. I could drop feathers for movement speed. Um, and of course this is a tailor. You just want to AoE all of these mobs down, and then loot. Now of course I'm not going to pop my treasure finding potion right now, just for the sake of the video. But I'm just showing you what you should do. Then you just want to kill everything in this room right here. And then of course this patrol pack right here, you can go ahead and uh, pull them and kill them. Um, sometimes I don't go out of my way too much if like if I miss them, it's only four mobs, it's not going to kill me. And then you go ahead, kill, you run out, and you reset. <clears throat> now 10 runs should only take you 12 to 15 minutes depending on how fast you go. Um, these mobs are only like level 80 plus, so as long as you're like a level 100 plus, you should have no problem with this. Um, if you are on a lower level, make sure you don't have it on heroic, and you should be fine. Now you go out, reset, and you do that 10 times. Now like I said, it takes 12 to 15 minutes to do this. So what I usually do is, this is one of my alts that just happens to have tailoring. I log out when I'm done with the lockout. Um, and then I'll come back later throughout the day, and then just do another 10 runs. So it's a really good farm to just park your alt here and just farm a bunch of uh, Cataclysm materials. Now <clears throat> in one potion I was able to do 40 runs of course and that 40 runs took me just under an hour and this is everything I received. I received 2399 ember silk cloth, um, like I said about 6600 gold worth of volatiles and ore and then from all of the greens I got I disenchanted and I got all of this from disenchanting. Um, Actually, excuse me, the 6600 also includes the enchant or the disenchanting. That is right, the 6600 also includes the disenchanting. Um, so, you know, 100 plus hypnotic dust, a few greater celestial essence, and a few maelstrom crystals. Um, and I also received this uh, design that sells for about 4k on my server, so I'll go ahead and toss that up on the auction house. Um, in total, in that one hour potion, um, in those 40 runs, is about 16,000 gold market value on my server. Of course, your servers might be different. But for a material slash raw gold farm, 
Oh, and that also included, the 16,000 also includes the, uh, about just under 3,000 raw gold um, that I received. Um, so all total, it was about 16,000 in uh, one potion, which is pretty decent if you just park your alt here and just keep doing it, you know, a few times throughout the day. Maybe you don't have that much time to play, so you just do like a lockout a day, and then, you know, that adds up pretty fast. Now there's a few things, of course, you can do with everything you get. You can just sell it as is or use it. Um, one reason why this farm is pretty popular, or at least was pretty popular, and I don't know if it's really that popular nowadays, I think people just kind of forgot about it, is the ember silk. Now the reason why you bring a tailor is because you get more ember silk, and one great thing that this farm allows you to do is create ember silk bags. Remember those old uh, 22 slot bags, I believe they are? They sell for about 700 plus gold a piece. And all they require is a bunch of bolts of ember silk and hypnotic dust. And gee, look at that, we got 111 hypnotic dust. I believe it's 20 hypnotic dust. So we can go ahead and convert that hypnotic dust and a few of that ember silk into ember silk bags and sell those for like 700 plus a piece. We can make five of those. So that's pretty easy gold right there. Ball tiles, you can do whatever you want, of course. Um, the other ember silk you can just sell as is, you can use it for tailoring, the enchanting mats you can use for enchanting, sell it as is, the ore you can smell or just sell it as is, you know, uh, everything's up to you. Um, everything's your decision. Of course, like I said, if you just sold everything as is, it's about 16k, including the raw gold that you got. Um, and it's extremely, extremely simple. It's a great spot to just park one of your alts that have tailoring. Um, and it gives you a bunch of ember silk, which is really good. Nowadays, Ember Silk is around 2 gold on my server, but it does have a region value of 4 to 5 gold. Um, so, of course, like I was saying, it was. I mean, I got just under 2400 Ember Silk at like a gold 50. Not that much, but at 5 gold a piece, you're talking about 10k just for that Ember Silk. 10k plus just for that Ember Silk. Um, so, you could definitely take advantage of that if Ember Silk prices are high on your server. And like I said, it is Bastion of Twilight trash farming, super old school. Bastion of Twilight, of course, is up in the air over here in Twilight Highlands, all over here. Um, just make sure you bring that potion of treasure finding. Make sure you are a tailorer. Uh, of course, if one of your ults is an enchanter, that works really well. Um, and everything is uh, your choice when it comes to the materials that you do. Uh, yep, that's about it. Of course, uh, you can always check me out on Twitch. I stream every single day on Twitch, gold making only. Uh, link is down below, twitch.tv slash kittymowmow. And like always, guys, thanks for watching, and have a good one.